what we're going to do tonight <clears throat> is the exact opposite of what I've ever asked you to do. And that is to micromanage what you eat and to get into the fine details. But we're going to do it tonight and we're going to do it on this topic because I can't think of another topic that creates more controversy amongst us than this one. Agreed? Do you eat nuts? Do you not eat nuts? Do you eat an ounce of nuts? Do you eat two ounces of nuts? You know, it gets crazy. So, but we're going to do it. But what we're also going to do is take a look at why. See, this is like a lesson on how to critically think and evaluate foods. Because we're bombarded with all these claims all the time. And we all fall for them. We all do. Because it just sounds so good. But they're all isolated claims about isolated parts of food. And I want to show you why that just never works. So whatever we do tonight in relation to nuts will apply in any information you hear. So not only are we going to look at nuts, it's just a practice of how we really should evaluate food. We've heard the health claims, right? Nuts are high in fiber. They're high in protein. They're a good source of healthy fats. They're nutrient dense. They protect against heart disease. They protect against diabetes. They protect against stroke and arrhythmias. And in spite of the calories, yeah, you don't gain weight. So let me ask you a question. Right at this point, right now, based on everything you know, how many of you would think that if we were to rate the claims and the value of the science behind nuts, based on just what you hear out in the world, how many of you think you know A, B, C, D? How many of you think nuts get like an A-level claim? Woo, tough audience. Two people. Okay, A. Two. How many of you think they get a B-level claim? All right, so that's a good chunk of us. How about a C-level claim? How about D? The McDougalers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Interesting, isn't it? So let's see. And we're going to ask this question again at the end. And I'm going to summarize it all in a full color chart, just like they do in USA Today. So you can see everything we run through and just clearly see the answer.